What is up everybody? It's Marty and I'm back because the next 7 star raid was revealed. As you can see here, it's the Sidui. I thought it would be uh, Inteleon, but I guess they're just doing it at random. I don't think it really matters at this point, like how they're doing it, but um, it's a flying type. Which we knew it would be a flying type if it was him. Um, we don't know when exactly it's going to happen, but assuming that it was, it was said today, which today is a Sunday, it should come out on the 17th, which is next week. And if they're doing it like normal, it would go on for those two days, and then it would return on the 31st. <coughs> so, um. We will be streaming this, of course, so you guys could join me. So let's hop in to what I've compiled over here because I was thinking about this. And honestly, th this thing does not have a lot of moves. Let's look at the stats real quick. Um, 107 attack. Defense is 75. This is major. This is what you want to look at when you're trying to like come up with a strat. Its defense is pretty bulky. It has low HP, but very low defense. So, for me, I would rather abuse him on the physical side. So, I would rather do physical attacks, but we'll see what moves it has. It all depends on the attacks that this thing has. And I think these are the moves it's going to have. <clears throat> we don't know what the opening is going to be. For Pikachu, they gave it its shield right away. For all we know, they could give this thing its shield and let its swords dance like twice. Like, they could really do some crazy stuff. And we're gonna get long reach. This does not matter. It's trash. Um, it's alright. But uh, actually, this is good for competitive. But it, like I said, it doesn't matter. So the moves that I know it's gonna have, it's gonna have this move. It's gonna have Brave Bird for sure. This is the best flying type attack it could have. Or it's going to have acrobatics. Uh, I would imagine it's going to have one of these. And it's going to have spirit shackle for sure. Um, That's what I'm going to go with. I'm not sure. I don't remember if Greninja had water shuriken. But, uh, nah, he didn't. Or maybe he did, I don't remember. But, um... I think he's gonna have this moveset, and then I came up with this, Leaf Blade, I think he might have a Grass move, uh, Feather Dance, this one would be pretty interesting if he did use this, lowers the attack by two, cause then that would mean that uh, you, wouldn't, you couldn't use this, I mean you couldn't use physical attacks on it, low, low kick, uh, because people are gonna wanna use Ice types, and rock types maybe so this will be good coverage double team because we've seen it from Greninja and looking at these attacks like it doesn't really have anything crazy it has sucker punch I should note that here because it does get sucker punch but um you know it depends it also has nasty plus so it could go either or or it could go mix, like, there's so many things, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I came up with. Uh, we're just gonna double check all of its attacks. Like I said, it doesn't really have anything crazy here. So yeah, that's uh, all the moves it has. I think it's gonna have Brave Bird and Spirit Shackle for sure, but we'll see. We'll see. So, here we go. <clears throat> Let's start off with uh, these. Um, the first Pokemon, when I saw this, uh, the first one that came to mind was Maridon. I think this is going to be a good choice. Uh, it has access to Calm Mind, and it, it activates uh, Electric Terrain. And you can use Electric Seed. So in case if it's using physical attacks, like it's like the Jack of Trades here because you get a plus one at the start of the battle. And then it gets access to Calm Mind. Then you got Electro Drift, which is extremely good. And you have a form of recovery in Parabolic Charge. 
A lot of people forget about this attack, but if you watched my other videos, you would know about it. Recover 50% of the damage dealt. It's really good. This move's really good for getting your terrestrialization up. And of course, Thunderbolt, just in case, because uh, you're gonna want to use Electro Drift, but you can only do it eight times. So that's one Pokemon I was thinking about. Now, all of these depend on the attacks it's going to be using. So, for example, Tyranitar. This would be an interesting choice. Because Rock and Dark, it doesn't have... Like, if it had Low Kick, then yeah. It wouldn't be a good choice, but... Um, it puts up Sandstorm. And um, Sandstorm basically doubles its special defense. So uh, that could be pretty good, but of course if it has a grass move, you know, things like that. Um, so we're going to see, it has, it doesn't have that many good moves, but this is another one because uh, this guy gets access to Screech, lowers defense by 2, and it also gets Dragon Dance, so you can like abuse him that way. So that's Tyranitar. None of these are certain, these are just like ideas, and usually I'm like, pretty spot on with a lot of the things I say. Uh, not trying to toot my own horn, but you know, we know it's moves it's gonna have. And we're gonna have more strategies as time go on. Uh, we'll figure it out. And Rotom Heat's another one. If it does have access to the grass attack, like, it doesn't have that many options to use, you know? So this is another one. It gets access to Nasty Pluck. The main thing you want to do is be able to avoid getting hit. That's the number one thing when it comes to raid. If you can never get hit by a Pokemon, like Claude Sire, with uh, Claude Sire with Greninja, basically indestructible, it was ridiculous. Same thing with Pikachu, ridiculous. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Magnezone. This is another one that I thought was interesting. This one was like for fun, but it gets access to Metal Sound, which lowers special defense. And it also has Lock On and then Zap Cannon. Now, this was for fun. Like I said, Thunder, you're better off doing Thunderbolt. That was just for fun. Uh, or Thunder. Might as well do Thunder, right? But if you're getting, like I said, if you're going to do Lock On, you're going to go with Zap Cannon. Uh,. So yeah, that's why I put it there. Third move, I couldn't eat, like think of another move. But like, you could possibly do Iron Defense. Like, you got some options. Now, this is an interesting one, Avalog. Now, this one, if it does not have any special moves, which it probably will, but if it didn't, this thing will thrash Decidueye. It will, it will thrash him uh, because it gets Curse. Avalanche, because we know it's slow. This is going to be 120 base power every time it hits. And then uh, Ice Spinner is just a backup. And it gets access to Recover. This still might be a good choice. But um, it, its defense is so high that it's this might be like a really, really good choice. So let's move on to Quillfish. Um, you guys know about this one, Black Sludge. Whenever you're using a Poison type and you want Residual Recovery, always Black Sludge. Um, this one's really good. Uh, very good uh, support. Um, another thing to say here, you guys seen this one. Chansey, another good one. Um, even if this thing had Low Kick, Chansey would still be good because Chansey gets pretty bulky uh, with that HP. And uh, Eviolite, this is supposed to be an Eviolite, my bad. So like this, this is how this would go. Charm lowers the attack by two, so that's a really good move. Chilling Water lowers the attack. You know, just to you know, do something. Heal Pulse, heal your teammates. Soft Boiled, heal yourself. And then you got uh, Quad Sire, Acid Spray, you, get, you guys know what this one does. This one's pretty simple. Um, this one's very good as well. Unaware, just in case, you know, uh, 
Electros, another interesting one here. It gets access to Coil, so like once again, if it does not have that many, um, like let's say it gets Hurricane, this might be a go. It all depends on the attack, so you know, I'm just spitballing here. I just pulled a bunch of Pokemon that could potentially be good. And uh, this one would be interesting. Coil, increase its attack, defense, and accuracy. Thunder Punch, Terror Blast, because this would be its strongest electric move at 80 base power, sadly. And Electric Terrain, you know. Uh, he, I don't think he gets this boost, though, because he has Levitate. So that's like a... And then uh, you got Max Caliber here. Thermal Exchange. This doesn't matter. None of this matters. Uh, Swords Dance it gets. High School Crash. Breaking Swipe lowers attack by one. Avalanche. No, it depends. You can have fun. Like, the speed don't matter, to be honest, in raids. They're going to hit you anyway. So you're better off just putting in HP. But if you're do you know, if it's a competitive build, don't really worry about it. If the Pokemon is able to win, it will win. So those are my choices for now. My main one is probably this Maridon. Uh, everyone should have one of those. Uh, Maridon might be a really good choice. But it depends on the attacks, you know? So that's the main thing. And we will find out. We will find out for sure. So guys, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for updates. I will be updating how to actually beat it. This is like the part one. And then uh, the next video I come out with will be like the way I beat it. I do it every time. Also, we'll be streaming it whenever it goes uh, up the date. And I'll be there. So, guys, I'll see you on the next one.